Ricky Yarbrough from Springdale Tractor. Today we are going to be discussing the differences between the SVL 75 and the Kubota SVL 95. The 75 and 95 have the same cab. There's no difference there. The 75 is just going to be a little narrower and a little shorter. It is a 75 horse, tier four engine, but no depth fluid yet. Um, you can get these in high flow or standard flow hydraulics depending on what's your application. Uh, if you're gonna run a big heavy bush hog that needs high flow, you do have that option on the 75. They offer it in a non-cab or a cab, uh, high flow, non-high flow. Um, the, one of the biggest advantages of the Kubota is their cab, the way, it, the way it's designed. The door swings open above your head, so it allows you to operate the machine with the door open which all of its competitors have a swing open door that if, let's, you know, worst case scenario, your the machine dies and your loader bucket is this high, you can't get out of the machine. With the Kubota, with the door swinging open, you can get in and out easy. Uh, another advantage of that, if you're working in tight areas, let's say with a set of pallet forks with people around, you can talk to your workers with the door open. Uh, makes it a nice, nice advantage. It is Kubota built from the ground up. Uh, another little nice feature they have on your, your machine here, they've beveled the top of that so the, the dirt and stuff falls off instead of being a flat surface and the dirt collects on top of it. Uh, of course, gets your quick attach. Um, this is, has a hydraulic quick coupler. You can get a hydraulic quick coupler or a manual coupler. Hydraulic, of course, it's got a cylinder that opens and closes so you don't have to get out of the machine to change the implements. Uh, the 14 pin connector is an option to run your six and one dozer blades, you know, snow blowers, anything of that nature. Okay, uh, pilot control machines, and basically what that is, is telling you is that this lever here will work the loader up and down just like a loader on a front end loader of a tractor. This side is just going to be your steering control to steer the machine. You have multi-function levers that you, you know, 14 pin connecting if you need to run a, you know, a six and one dozer blade, you've got the option to do it here. Then again, the cab is, is one of the biggest sellers. So that door comes down, folds down in front of you. Also allows you to open the door and talk to your employees, or if, you know, say you have something that's wrong with your air conditioner system, you can still run the unit with the door open and not burn up in it. Let's go back here to the engine compartment. I'll show you a little differences between us and the competitors. As you see in the door here, there's not a fuel tank. Most of its competitors have a fuel tank, so then again, if you back into something, you can smash that fuel tank and get a little more uh, expense added to your work site. Uh, opens up real nice. Top folds up, you can get to your air conditioner condenser to clean it out. You have three bolts that you can pull and your radiator flips down to clean the back side of your radiator to keep this machine uh, nice and cool. Another thing that they do most of your competitors, if you ever had to jump one of these off, I know for sure on the Bobcats, the battery's backwards. So to get to the positive, you have to go to the front of the battery, which Kubota puts it here. So if you ever have to jump the machine off or, have the mach or use the machine to jump one off, it's all right there. It's a real nice tight fit. Looks good, door's heavy, so make sure you pin that door back and you might smash your fingers. Let's talk about the SVL 95 now, Dash 2 versus the SVL 75. The 95, your big difference is it's gonna be the weight. It's gonna weigh in at around 11.2 versus around 9,400 pounds. The cab is identical, the doors come up and down identically. It's gonna have a little bigger bucket, it's gonna have a little wider stance to the machine. It is gonna be about eight inches longer and about two and a half inches taller. Um, still Kubota built, diesel engine this is tier four with depth fluid versus a 75 is a tier four no depth um, lifting capacity the 95 is about a thousand pounds greater than the 75. okay well that sums it up on the svl 75 and the 95 if you got questions we've got the answers just call us at springdale tractor